you know, Navi's second best map is Train, and that's Vitality's auto ban, right? So yes. already Navi were kind of playing with an arm behind, tied behind their backs coming into this when it comes to the veto, because their strengths are limited against Vitality. They had to go nuke in the first pick, and they have to win nuke here. So, and Zywoo and Shoxi on pistols. It feels like those guys just, well, Zywoo just overperms no matter what, but Shoxi and pistols, it's a match made in heaven. So it's still very dangerous. Ooh. There's Zywoo just taking Boomish out of it. And there's Shoxi. So uh, there you go, sure enough. <laughs> oh, man. Yeah, and that was good, right? Because it did look like they kept fighting for a while longer than they needed to. So just mm -hmm. the calm, like, everyone stay still, don't move too much. That's not, he's not seeing a lot here, is he? Yeah, that's that's a pretty thin angle. Oh, we have zoom enhanced Sweet. the picture. All right, run it through the enhancements. Right, Miami, so right, where is my, if, like, so. but, No, you. It looks like Vitality have just elected to sit and wait. I mean, you've still got Shoxi alive with the M4 covering yard, and so they haven't made their way down secret. That part is controlled. There's the flash as well, allowing Shoxi to get even more information. This is going to be the upper push though, and Boomish and Simple just doing work all together. That was actually so clean from Navi. Moving together as a killer unit. Very little warning for uh, Vitality there. And Shox is walking up from that position, and he's just going to hold it. I mean, there's no point in guessing. You just, you're just crossing your fingers. Apex is right behind him, though, and he turns. Oh, still gets the headshot. A bullet, and he would have been dead. And now Perfecto's picked up an AK, and that's incredibly significant. Shox here, he's got 100 health. Got the M4. He's got an HE. All he has to do is throw it, but not yet. Perfecto on the run. And Shox is right behind him, banking the grenade, and it doesn't kill him. It takes a little bit of health off. Shox has to be careful. A little bit of free fire. He's going to get the round. Shox, just a single kill. All he needed. And no kit, but there's going to be time. Apex with a triple in that round. And, um... You know, just for him mentally, personally, we talked about him tilting a little bit yesterday. Yes. Probably feels pretty good doing something early on here. Good round. Dude, I'm going to tilt if these rounds keep coming down to the wire like Oh, this. they will. But Vitality, this is such... Already, it's a statistical anomaly. Because they gave up the first kill, and they only win 25% of the rounds when they lose the first kill in the round. That means that the MAC-10 and the M4 there that Na'Vi have on their side are suddenly way more effective and can have a much bigger impact. So... Those are just little details here. We'll see if it actually gets to it. Every time Saiwu has... Ooh, actually, they're going to go for the straight-A execute. Yeah, Molotov's in through the rafters onto the hot behind that actual... The silo inside, and they're running them down. And there's the MAC-10 instant headshot on the viewer, and he dies in a second. Electronic and Perfecto will follow it up, but... I mean, just the, the straight execute. And again, Vitality don't have the counter nades, and they don't have the head armor. Like, there's just... There's a lot of problems there. But that A execute is... It's a classic by now on you. A little bit behind, though, makes me wonder. And but they're still on the T side. It's not CT side yet. Oh, so this is aggressive, but I love it. It's kind of an all-in, right? You miss the shot here, but he doesn't. He usually doesn't. And he's going to take down Perfecto as well. Yeah, you have only one chance for some players just do not care about that. Five versus three. And that is one hell of a way to get your team back in. Yeah, I think actually they were, were really, really refreshing uh, surprise for this particular tournament. I think Boomich started this round with 14,500 in the bank just as a bit of a marker for how well Na'Vi have been playing the last many rounds. So it'll take a while here before Vitality really managed to run down their economy. Here we go. Similar way execute, but this time Nivira is there to stop them in the hot. So RPK not putting out the smoke. He's fighting instead, and Nivira is back. Nearly could have had that double kill. Two versus three, and Vitality are doing a much better job. And it all starts with that early kill from Nivira just to, you know, slow things down. And they'll end up winning that round six to six now. Vitality tying it up. But you see how you could match those two rounds and how that execute worked on top of each other and you, you just see a massive massive difference and i don't know if what they're meant to do but right now electronic is trying to clear that up he's gonna get the kill oh, oh no the bomb gets stuck 15 seconds <laughs> all he had to do oh it falls back down they can actually pick it up electronic does he have time nine seconds is he gonna he could turn around and just try and kill him i mean they have to come for him surely they're running right behind three seconds he's gonna have the bomb plant but they're on top of him they're right there rpk to take him down and vitality will get that seventh round on the board in an absolutely ridiculous fashion. It was all about getting down that ladder. That was the only thing that mattered. I mean, Boomich in trouble. Simple trying to reload that CZ-75 and closing the door behind him. But yeah, Bomb is going to be going down. And now, how do you retake this? I don't even know how, how you could do this. Three versus five. You need Vitality to give, give you some fights. You need them to go and, yeah, take a fight like that. An instant headshot. Otherwise, I don't think you're going to walk in. The crossfire's in here. 
I mean, it's just a giant web that you're walking into at this point in time. Perfecto goes down. Cyber is looking for a bit more and challenging simple. And you'll find that headshot. He's not even reloading. He's just looking for more headshots. And now they're coming for Flamey. Could have almost knifed him, but I respect the fact that they didn't. Might be a little bit too much on the line at this point in time. Super sick. And hold on, we're going to see. All right, this was already. Oh, this was the opening duel versus Electronic. But then what's even better is that that's just the fake from Vitality. Because obviously Electronics info is, oh, they're going down secret. And so Vitality, you know, Navi are going to be shifting around, trying to cover that angle towards the lower site. No, no. Vitality then goes straight up into the upper site and just catch them completely unawares up there. So it works out wonderfully for Vitality. And that was an excellent pistol round. 19th round, though. And Scout versus AWP, of course it makes a difference. So we'll see. Oh, what an entry. Nvira taking down Flamey, and he was just falling back from that position. The timing could not have been better. That was so clean. I mean, we talked about him and his performance overall. <laughs> oh, no. Apex, I mean, who's to blame? We'll never know. But that is a little bit unfortunate. Still a four versus three. And Navi, remember, they can't really fight hard for this. They just do not have the economy as much as... I'm sure they would love it. I'm sure they want to. It's so risky to go for this. Perfecto will find a, th a free kill there, but is it still even worth it? They're so far away. I they've been running this 4-1 type setup. Vitality looks like they're going to go real quick right through into the smoke, but the spray is great. So what? He takes him right through the smoke. He just spun and took down Electronic. He, has, he had no idea where he was. Two versus four and Flamey and Simple. I mean, they, they can't even get close. They just have to get away. What a ridiculous human being. Seconds. Now we have to keep the economy going. <laughs> Sharks with just a single point of health. How mega tilted are you if you're electronic too? You've been sitting there waiting for Shoxy that entire time, and then he just bops you in the face. Well, RPK and Apex heading down the vents, it looks like going for the drop. There's no one there. The B bomb side, well, Simple's just now showing up, but they could get a bomb plant. This is not out of the realm. Oh, he's going to get shot right in the face. That's pretty good from Apex. That'll give them the bonus, and it's still a two on three. They have no grenades left on the Vitality side, and that makes this very tough in the after plant, but I wouldn't rule this out. Shock's a single point of health, but he is an absolute god in the right position. So let's just see what happens. Apex turns in, straight headshot to take down Flamey, and now it's real interesting. Two versus two. Shox has walked in this hallway. Apex shooting at the door. Shox coming in and one health. All that he needed. And Perfecto has to back on out. What an incredible win. Let's see what they could do here. 25th round and they're jumping right down to try and catch Electronic off guard. Not quite succeeding, but that was that thing we were talking about earlier. Putting the pressure on and still might work. Perfecto though, cleaning it up. Oh, that is amazing. Quad kill at the end for Perfecto, and he had to sp he had to spin and cover that entire angle. Now there's going to be the rotate coming in here from uh, Vitality, getting that body out in the yard. Uh, Apex, he got legged earlier. He's just going to show himself to keep by well, keep Navi honest. And his teammates are just dying to simple, and this this round's going to be a wash. They're sacrificing themselves, he's getting a little bit back into it at the very least. Yeah. Working on a triple right now. Not going to get any more than that. Would you but, say he's the last guy you want to feed kills to on Navi? I think he'd be the last guy you want to feed kills to. Smoke and a Molotov, but Electronic will catch Apex. I think this is unrambling right now. Could very well be overtime. Five versus three. I have no idea how Vitality will try and find a way to get back into this easy shot for Simple. And now, yeah, they are collapsing a little bit. Vitality, they almost had it in regulation, but I don't think this is going to hold. Cyber goes down and Navira getting shot in the back and it's overtime. 15 to 15. What a great comeback here. One, he saw the bomb. They have a perfect read right now. Apex will still get a kill, but let's see. This retake, it should be doable. Boomish goes down, but a quick trade. Simple runs in, picked up an M4, and just takes him out. Navira, he's one bullet away from death. Just needs the headshot, and he's gonna get the spray instead. Survives on two health, and Vitality get the round that they needed in regulation. What? an opening to the overtime. There are more grenades. They just keep Molotoving that hut. And now the counter smoke comes out at 30 seconds. That's actually real impressive. That is a sexy smoke. Yep. That is a silky smooth smoke. They're not loving this, are they? 23 seconds on the clock. Time is really running down. Shox is waiting in the corner. He's going to take down Flamey. And yeah, they're walking in. They're feeling the pressure now, Navi. And it is not working out the way that they had anticipated. Simple on his own. <laughs> He's getting toyed with on the ladder. Who was that? Was that Apex having fun? I would love to see that. He was sticking his little head up from that vent. That is hilarious.
Dude, that smoke was oh, yeah. so sexy. And this is Iowa's perspective up top, as obviously once the firepower starts, you know, once the firefight starts kicking in, <laughs> Apex is straight <laughs> memeing on simple. That's amazing. But this is the smoke from Zywu, and that is just the sexiest smoke. Yeah. At 30 seconds left, dude, that's nightmare fuel for Navi. What do you do when that goes off in your face? You see, remember that? They tried to go aggressive in, in lobby, which I think was a very good idea. Oh, no, burning and simple. He'll take down the Vira, and they're gonna go make a push for it. 18, 17, they just need this round, and they will win the first map. RPK goes for the swing, but he is flashed, and he can only get one. Three versus four. Miss shot. Shocks is gonna try and fall back, but he just can't. He's stuck in there. Saiwu combat over here. Now it's Apex. He gets caught and it's 19 17. They pick it up in overtime. Navi, what an incredible amount of effort they had to put into this. It was their map pick, but my god. And I did electronic have a kit? Otherwise, no one has one. They're gonna go straight for it. No kit in hand. Saiwu with a kill. Looking for more. Oh, he actually does line up a double. This is doable. Shocks, though, under some pressure and being forced back. Not all the way into the tunnel. He comes back for seconds and Boomich will take him down. But they survive on 15 and 13 health. Navi just barely get the pistol. I was going to say that uh, the last two players that you would want alive in a pistol round for Vitality would be Zywu and Shox. If you stood the best odds of winning that pistol round, you'd want your pistol specialists, I suppose, you know, to be uh, to be in that position. But oof, simple, that was a clean shot on RPK earlier. Get out of here! He takes me to that way too. Yeah, that is a sick round. Let's just see. I mean, Vitality, they're a very, really experienced team. I'm sure they're gonna, and they have a lot of support. I mean, people have been talking about how many people are behind them, and you know, like, I'm sure they'll find a way to find that mental reset, but that is my only concern. Otherwise, all of the signs point toward this being Vitality's map, and let's see how it goes. Vitality on the T side, Navi on the CT side, and we are gonna get right into it. I don't know. It seemed like there wasn't much coordination between Electronic and Simple at that moment. 35 seconds, Vitality moving on to the site. They still have plenty of time to go for a bomb plant here, but Perfecto winning the fight and the follow up. Oh, Masuta, that is a very much needed double kill for him to take. Third in the round for him, and Shox is already watching for Flamey, who's trying to get that flank in Electronic on the other side with the Org. But I think this is all on Flamey to try and, and open this up for Electronic. Otherwise, I don't think it'll work out. And Shox, I think he's already seen it, and he still goes down. I can't believe it. He doesn't win the fight, and now it's a two on two. No smoke on top of the bomb, so they're gonna have to go straight for the fights here to try and get it done. Electronic, not quite hitting it. Masuta finding his fourth kill, and Flamey, I think, now realizing, yep, that AK is gonna be a better choice. So Vitality will pick up their first round. Also sets Misuda up, and I'm really happy to see him getting kills. He's, turn he's currently top fragging for uh, Vitality. He kind of had a really a big struggle against Astralis yesterday. We didn't really see a level that we expect from him. Yeah, uh, he's been he's definitely been performing well. It's just that he kind of faded in that series yesterday. So if him, given the chance to play here against Na'Vi, starts off strong and maintains that, shows up with that firepower that Vitality needs. Nice hunt. You see? Like, if he shows up with this kind of firepower for Vitality when they really need it, this is a big opportunity for him to shine and really come through when his team need him. Oh, you're definitely right. And it's 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 such a great luxury because we keep, you know, here where they want to hit it. Already been spotted, but Perfecto. All he does is a bit of damage and now Flamey by the barrels. He has to come up with a massive multi-kill. Oh, this is not going to work out. They do line up. Flamey coming up with a triple. No one checked it. He was alone on the bomb site. The backup was all the way up at the sniper spot. That doesn't really count. He should have been dead almost immediately. That is massive. They're under a lot of pressure here. Nice headshot from RPK. That's what we're talking about. Find a way to have an impact in the round. And that headshot could be everything that they wanted right now. Boomich thinking about walking through the smoke, but no, he's going to fall back instead. And Simple had to go back down through the B-bomb side and is now going to be joining. They're all retaking from the same side. That is a recipe for disaster. No smokes and two Molotovs there on the Vitality side. I think the French have got a very, very good shot at winning this round. Uh, Misuda right now, the fact that Simple is pulling a fast one on him. Misuda expects Simple to be over in Connector. So this is going to be a big opportunity here for Na'Vi. There's an unexpected edge that they have over Vitality. You're right. RPK, another good kill. Finally gets overwhelmed, but Saibu and Misutra are left. That bomb isn't take that far. They need to hold on. Just a couple of seconds more. Flamey takes a kill and out along it's Misutra. Critical shot, but the bomb is in the corner. I don't think he can get there. Oh, no. He almost had it, but simple instead. Defusing the bomb, and that is a massive steal. A kill on shocks, but the bomb is going to be planted here. And the afterplant should be favoring Vitality quite a bit. 
this round should be favoring Vitality now. Yeah, exactly. The, the man advantage, sight control. Still a couple of nades here for Navi to work with, however, so they could still try and go for this retake, but, I mean, Vitality, they've got all the post-plant positions. This is super yeah. solid from them. And they don't have a lot of money either, Navi, so if they lose the rifles, that's very bad news. Kill there on RPK will help them out a bit. Simple. Smoking up the bomb for a little bit later. Masuta taking some damage. I think he was wall banged a bit to go that low. There's Boomage with a headshot, but hunting for it. Not going to be quite enough. Masuta hitting some good shots. Boomage. Yeah, Saiwu just has to stay hidden. Don't show yourself. He doesn't have a kit picked up right now, and it will be Saiwu to pick it up instead. Surviving on three health and vitality. A much needed fourth round. Don't fight this. It's not worth it. Simple. Getting a headshot. That's why you want to stay away. It's not done yet, but it is a two on two. They do have a kit on Perfecto and a Molotov as well. Now it could get a bit awkward. Yeah, Counter Molotov coming out on top of the bomb, but no one is actually defusing yet. And that might have even been really early. Trying to get the swing in. There's the grenade being used. Perfecto. He's the one that's going to have to go for this defuse. Yep, Simple has to cover it. He's looking for it. He needs a one-shot headshot, and that doesn't happen. Masuta again the hero with a couple of kills. But my god, everything is just difficult. But now the because of the force... They might get up to six rounds here, Vitality. I think that's enough. Yes, this is, uh, it was a gamble on Navi's side and they decided to take it. This is, I mean, Shoxy's, from Shoxy's perspective, it was solid, but this is still simple doing everything he can here in the sense that he's doing, he is the one playing the sacrificial role. Because he screwed that flash up, he backs off and then he starts baiting for Boomich and an electronic. That's what gives his team a fighting chance in that round. And the grenades, what we were lacking earlier, at least in some of those B executes, were really flashbangs onto the side. Now this position, very hard to flash, but they find a way actually really close. Not checking it. He only has a USP. It's hard to get a lot of kills with. He's right in between them, missing the first shots. <laughs> oh no, the knife would have been better somewhere. I mean, you had the right idea. I want bleach for my eyes so that I can just burn that away. Bomb is already ticking quite a bit. Not seeing a kit on anyone either. It's all just, I mean, none of this is trending in Navi's direction. Headshot is pretty good, but the trade is going to be in for Apex right away. Boomich trying to jump up. Hiding behind their simple, walking into the line of fire. He will survive, actually. And now they're in those tunnels. Can they get back out? They still don't have a kit. And he's going to shoot the guy defusing Apex. An absolute hero at the end. A quad kill. Surviving on nine health and getting in that seventh round. What a monstrous performance at that last round for Apex. That just secured them, I think, a very, very good shot at winning this map. We're going to see if they can in the second half. It's coming up after the break shocks and now boom which is in the corner they're not even going to check it he's going to turn around you didn't get your knife earlier so oh now maybe no the knife could have done it again we're gonna have to learn electronic and simple two versus three this should be a one round already it should have been done electronic trying to fight it he's alone low on health he gets one can he get the second shocks is right behind him he's on top in fact jumping down for the straight defuse and he without the kid He's going to have the time. I can't even believe it. Vitality should not have won this round. It's too painful. Oh, I think we're going to see this again, too. Why do we have to relive it? No. Close your eyes. Please. Samla, just, you don't have to. <laughs> oh, no, and they're showing the other one, too. <laughs> Why are you doing this to him? Did Boomich, like, steal your lunch or something? Like, what's going on? Why did, why we got to do him that way? Yeah, they do. And actually, I mean, some of these nades, look at where RPK is. One good Molotov on that and one good flashbang to get into the to the tunnel. It could be interesting, but Counter Molotov coming out at 15 seconds. Apex and RPK, but there's just no time left right now. Even with the SMGs, this is perfect. The fact that they had held on to that last Molotov for the monster tunnel, I don't even know what you're meant to do. That is, that's a master stroke of genius right there. At that, you know, sub 20 seconds, that's very hard to do. And anyway, even if you get the kill in that position, oh, no. what's the best sort of scenario? Oh, missed chance. Perfecto getting a headshot. Saiwuna, close range. She's doing more. And right on top of him is Perfecto. 20 seconds. He's caught out in the open. And he had the time. He could have got the headshot. Saiwu with a quad kill, but honestly, that was about to spiral out of control. Dude, there was a world where Perfecto hits that shot on Apex. Yep. Saiwu, I mean... Again, this is all great, but the round should not be based on this. This isn't how you should be staying in the round. <laughs> okay, that's what I'm talking about. Some of these rounds, they're just... 
Why is it that chaotic? Here, two rounds, and then they're just trading back and forth right now. Thing is, that's going to favor the T side heavily. And so Navi now, I mean, they're going to catch out Shoxi again, who just seems to be dying in connector as part of his contract. And the rest of them, just USPs. Nicely done there by Zaiwu, but this should be an easy cleanup. Running out of bullets, but Zaiwu could do some more damage. That's a very, very nice <laughs> what? spray. I can't even believe it, but he's very low on health. They know where he is, and eventually they're going to come find him. Electronic will get that one. And um, that is the lead now for Navi, 12 to 11. They are four rounds away from putting themselves in the grand final against Astralis. Here, Saiwu and Shox, how do you retake this now? If you lose the rifles, you are in, you're in deep trouble. And if you don't, I mean, again, you're giving Na'Vi that 13th round. They really want to do it. You have to. You have enough time. The bomb just got planted and you have a smoke. You have two smokes to play with here to block them off, to create some room. Simple is putting himself in a position to spray. Or just lightly throw an HE in there. Oh, Boomich. That's a nice shot from Saibu. Seven seconds. No kit. He's trying to no-scope, but he's not seeing him. He can't find him. One second left on that defuse, and it's a full-on 10-second defuse. That smoke was worth so much. An entire round, in fact. 12 to 12 as we move into the 15th round. <laughs> I don't know if they can really get to the B-bomb site. Flamey's down there. Perfecto's only now picked up the bomb, and it's about 14 seconds. They have... I don't know if they know about Flamey. If they don't, and they just... If they panic and just run in here, maybe Flamey could do something. The bomb making its way. No, it's gonna get stopped. Apex, that is the kill. They've lost the round here. It's gonna be 14 for Vitality. Oh, no. Apex just needed that one shot. It's really critical. This is gonna be a B hit, and if the timing is right, it'll be before Apex or Saiwu get back from the A-bomb site. Because then it's a two on four down there at B. And that could be interesting. Actually, smoke goes off from RPK in the tunnel. That's really expert timing. They have to push through it. They've got no other choice. So they're going to run out again. He has a Molotov behind it. The bomb is on the ground. Oh, no. Navi, that smoke just absolutely foiled their plans. 30 seconds here. And it was simple. What do you even do? He's blind and he is going to be dead. 16 to 12. Vitality. Recover their strength and put it on to a third map. We're going to go the whole distance, ladies and gentlemen. That's what we wanted. That's what we deserve between these two amazing teams. Maybe you have about half the sample size. Hard to know how big of a difference that makes when uh, when you're looking at 33 versus 58 here. But still, I, I, think, I think Navi are still going to be very dangerous on this one. Pimp made an excellent, excellent point. Uh, I mean, last four times Navi have played, they're like 50%. They beat G2, and then they beat Astralis and Vitality both on this map as well. Well, which is, well, they lost to G2, but they beat Astralis and they beat Vitality. So it's like they are no joke on this map. And the last time that they played was Navi versus Vitality, and it was Vitality edging out the win in overtime in 1917. So as it stands right now, Navi won revenge. They go to Dust2 here, and they want revenge. They need to end this strong. But they have a lot of experience against elite teams on this map. Some of the, well, the best Dust2 teams in yeah. the world, and they're narrowly losing. So anything is possible going into this third map, Anders. It is still entirely possible that James Banks actually gets a prediction right. Well, we're here to find out. See that there's an opening here to take advantage of. Yeah, but it's Nivira inside. He's got that USP. He is fast running out of bullets, though. Apex will be there to help out. Oh, and what a headshot! He knew he was dead. There was nothing that he could have done to stay alive, so he takes just one more with him, and that is so important. Now pushing on to the site and winning the round is Vitality. No bomb plant either. Nivira, I mean, he might not necessarily be the hero of that round, but that is, that is some focus and determination. He didn't panic, already gone down, and now three men stacked towards the catwalk. If they win this fight against Nivira, they're in trouble. They don't have a smoke right now for the bomb. I actually think this is a really big problem. Electronic is up here, Tech 9 in hand. They're a little bit low on health on Simple and Perfecto, and they're going to find the kills Wait, right what? through the smoke. I can't believe it. Straight was killed. there. They both just made that work, but they don't have a kit. It's going to be down to the very last second. Shox is holding it in. You hear the tick already just gets it. Still, still doesn't distract enough from mid so that Shox could do anything. Nivira getting an important kill. Side will stop it with the AWP as well, but it's going to be Shox and they're just walking right in. The cross smokes are there and Navi giving, a ra I mean, maybe not the whole round, but certainly at the end, that could have been so much better. Let's see this again, yeah. 
Smokes? Yeah, they're going before the smokes bloom. And there's just one of them. That was just so I mean, weird. They, it, listen, it's if they only have one, what can they do? But then why do they put it that far into the corner? I mean, it, I don't know. Well, let's wait for it to go off. But one is better than none. Up against Deagles and Flamey's Deagle. It is on point. Saiwu out here. Yeah, he's a bit worried. He doesn't want to die. They realize they're coming up the catwalk. That smoke's going to help him at Apex. Those are some really valuable headshots. Now he's finally going to go down to simple. You see Saiwu orping on top here. Not quite tagging him yet. And he is going to win that fight. No scoping. He actually stabbed Boomich with the AWP. That's pretty aggressive. And Vitality win the round. Apex, those are some really important shots. RPK out on long, just there in time, and one-tapping Boomich right out of the round. He's looking for more. He's so calm, and it'll take down Perfecto. This is beautiful, but runs right back into Flamey, who just jumped down into the pit, and it leaves Navira. One versus two. And Simple's waiting for him. Very, very patient. Navira, he might walk into certain death here. How quick is he going to be on that trigger? Not quick enough. And Simple will take him down. Nice triple on Simple and Navi. Pick up their first round. Joxy. Keeping him honest. I like it. I mean, could even try and lock some of them into the bomb site. You know, just to try and, and deal a bit more economic damage. That could also be pretty valuable. Boomich is not going to go down, but he might to the bomb. They he are going to uh, have a hard, harder time running out this way. Apex in the right position. He's not going to get the kill, though. That's unfortunate. And the Boomage is going to be far enough away. So they all live for the round. And Navi now, five in a row. Again, this is absolutely amazing. They have not let Vitality back into the game. And... And 20 seconds on the clock and the bomb, it should be planted. Perfecto trying to make the crossing. He's getting trapped. He's getting caught. It's on the ground now with 10 seconds. And Boomage is going to go pick it up. They don't have a Molotov or anything. But the fact that it goes down like that is very dangerous. Boomage coming back in and tracing him all along the wall. And they still make it work. Apex with the final kill. And that is going to be the round for Vitality. What an absolutely mental turn of events. Once again, the clock is Navi's worst enemy. Which is out long, though, against the RPK. He turns for the grenade, heads up play, and look at that win. He's pretty low on health, and he's actually gone. Uh, yeah, it's everywhere. <laughs> <laughs> and there's no escaping. You could see him pull out the smoke, but yeah, I don't think he could have done anything. Electronic and Navira, there's the flash in. Is he going to check the corner? Navira? No, he's not checking behind him. Oh, Electronic, he jumps the gun. He panicked and got nervous, and that got him killed. Wow. Man, 10, 10 HP on it, Nivera, though, man. That is so close for... That's so unfortunate for Electronic. It is. That says everything you need to know about the mental game, right? Yeah. He would have been just fine. Maybe could have got the kill as well. Nivera back here. And this time he's going to be simple on speed. That's important. Perfecto. Very clean kill. And Saibu just getting caught. And just like that, two on three into a one on two. Apex on his own here and they're waiting for him in the middle already he's gonna make a little bit of a jump flamey's right there and he takes him out in a second it's gonna be two on catwalk so they can go for a quick rotation perfect was gonna be over here however yeah being able to you're absolutely right so if it is a b hit they're gonna be very very quick there to have a lot of people but it's not it's gonna be catwalk sharks oh, sorry rpk is there sharks has already fallen back he was there a second ago but Baited into the middle instead. Now he's going to show up with the AWP and he goes right down. Perfecto has really been hitting some great shots. A double kill in this round. And I don't know what they could do. Simple with the Deagle taking down Sayu. This is such a schooling right now. Dude. 10 to 5 in favor of Navi at the end of the half. Simple is in the window, but, you know, one good flashbang and he should be pushed back. Yeah. Oh, that's a nice crisp shot. You do tag him back and... He's going to have to fall back a little bit. Electronic is trying to flank in from T-spawn into upper dark right now. But it's a really swift bomb plant. So four on four for the after plant. Bomb says about, of oh, the AI says about 65% here in favor of Vitality. They should be good to go. Perfecto, he's only going to get the one. They push out, they clear it. They see that there's no one else in middle. Not only the kill, but the information is incredibly important. Now they know where the rest of Navi are retaking from. And Electronic, he's on his own, and he will get shot down. Nivira with a good double kill. Vitality, I actually like everything about that round, especially the part where they go and they attack that middle after the bomb. It's so smart. I just love it when you get the B anchor who gets to set up back plateau on a retake. He's like, I know how to do this. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Perfect defense. Double headshot from Nivera. He'll do that all day long from that spot. Clearing out catwalk, that's always the, the first sign that someone is going for a B split. 
chance to put in more pressure, and here they come out the middle. Oh, but he jumps down into the waiting arms of Electronic. He caught him. That might even have been mid-air. Doesn't even matter. They're going to trade it. And now Perfecto. Oh, that's simple. Right on top of the smoke taking down APG. There was no smoke. In fact, they just don't even throw that. And that opens it up for this AWP. Oh, they wish they had that smoke, but they don't. Nivira is going to be going down simple with a big double. And now it's on cycle. And he's going to go down simple. Has his number. They finally get to fight. And it is Simple's 23rd kill of this map. Uh, this is a set strategy from uh, Vitality, and you can see that Electronic is perfectly ready for Shoxie to drop down. They know what's coming. And uh, once that smoke goes down to block off CT like that, it's a bit of the giveaway, right? You're going to have tells in certain of these strategies, and that's the one thing that in-game leaders have been dealing with. Yeah, let's see if he can handle the pressure. He's certainly been able to so far. 50 seconds on the clock, and some smoke's going up. Simple, back, looking at long. There's going to be three people here. He does actually move away. Oh, the timing is really unfortunate. Now he knows he's under pressure. He's coming back for it. Misses the flick, and that will take him down. Very, very good opening. Boomich is next in line, and Electronic Perfecto Flamey. They don't have the money. I don't... Yeah, they're going to fall back. Nivira and Shocks are. Yeah, damage has been dealt for sure. Boomich on the long flank as well. Apex, is. he's going to have to have eyes on the back of his head and worry about upper dark but instead he decides to just back up with the rest of his teammates they'll get that triangle of doom set up here on the b side and it's all on vitality now to hold again they're, they're taking their time navi before they even think about setting this up flashes are about to hang in there boomage coming up shooting them oh and that's so well done electronic as well in nivira he can't stand up to it he's gonna get no scope by simple and they will find a 15th round it is series point for navi they are, they're looking unstoppable. At least one. Now, Perfecto is inside of the bomb site. They smoke off simple. Boom, it's on a bit of a flank, and they nearly get caught. But now, the tables have turned. He's going to drop that nade in there, and he goes down. Try to spray them all through. This is such a winnable round. Two versus four. Simple is in middle. I don't think they know that yet. And he's just looking at the edge of the smoke. Could he catch anyone there? Going to be a little bit of a shot, and Saiwo actually catches him. Now it's surely done. Yeah. Perfecto, one versus four. Man, I'm not sure. And they know where he is. Do you think? Oh, hold on. We'll see. One for one. So quick. The margins are really thin right now for the French side. Oh, what? <laughs> no. No, he can't. <laughs> yeah, he's doing it again. So who goes down? Bullwitch. What are you doing? He's still pushing. He just wants to run and gun. He picks up the AK and actually finally goes Wait, down. But it's was electronic who takes down RPK. This is a ridiculous circus. Now it's a two on three. Apex and Nivira left wondering what in the hell just happened out on long. And Apex goes down. How? How is this going on? They're going to lose it to the madness of Boomich out on long, 16 to 10. And we're gonna get Navi against Astralis in the grand finals here at Blast Premier.